Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, here to do this hour's worth of entertainment for you. So we are going to start the show with the typical PSAs, which are always forgotten as I go to say them. <laughs> um, if you'd like to call into the show, the number is 845-277-9133. Three one, and or you can join us on YouTube live chat. Okay, you can post questions or ask for healings or clearings in the chat. Um, if you'd like to call in, you can ask any question you want about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all, as well as. Uh, connect with any loved ones on the other side. I just need the first name and the relationship of the loved one to you to kind of sneak into that energy and connect with them and get that message for you. Uh, I will never reach out to you on any social media venue. That's It's not what I do. It's not how I work. Uh, if you want a private session, you would reach out to me via my website, which is tonig.info, or my private business number, which is 414-897-2869. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's get into it, because today is going to be such a good day. Um, First and foremost, thank you all for being here. I'm so grateful for everybody who is joining into the show and taking part in it. I hope that um, I get to get to everybody's question today. And if, if you're watching on any of the TV stations that I air on, any listening on any of the podcasts or radio stations, you can join live every Monday and or Wednesday at noon central. Um, and I'll be happy to answer your question or uh, chat with you on YouTube. First and foremost, I'm going to do a couple of songs that are coming through um, for it, since uh, uh, this morning. Uh, they were not coming through prior to this morning. They just started getting in this morning as I started coming in. So one of the songs has come through before, but it's coming through again. Now, these can be songs that are an answer to a question or just to let you know. They could be from a loved one to you or a song that you and a loved one shared, or this was your loved one's favorite song. So the first song I'm hearing is, don't worry, um, every little thing is going to be all right. And I feel like it was Bob Marley, that Jamaican type of beat or reggae type of beat or song. So if it wasn't Bob Marley, I apologize, but that's that's just the feeling I get from it. And I know that song has come through before, but it's coming through again. So there it is. Um, and Heather right away says, OMG, Matt, my brother. Yes. <laughs> so we already have one confirmation. And just because one person confirms the song for them, it doesn't mean it's only for that person. It can be for a plethora of people. The second thing, um, it's not a song. All of a sudden just popped right in front of me is an infant baby girl. When I say infant, I'm saying infant, like in a blanket, in the arms, um, infant baby girl. I know it's a girl, big eyes. I want to say these eyes are big blue eyes. Infant baby girl. So somebody, I'm very sorry, whomever lost an infant baby girl, your baby girl is here. Oh my gosh. And I, I'm so sorry for your loss. And I want to say um, that this little bean is telling me, um, don't worry, everything is going to be all right. And she's okay. She's um, in the arms of, and then the song by Sarah, I believe it's Sarah McLaughlin. I'm going to lose it, guys. Oh, the show isn't even five minutes in and I'm about to lose my poop. Um, the song coming through in the arms of Jesus. 
Mm. This face is me trying to hold it together in the arms of an angel. Okay. That is for someone and that flash of light behind me was confirmation. So <clears throat> moving right along now, um, just moving right along now. Give me a second here to just clean myself up. Um, the next thing, holy cow, that I was not expecting. Thank goodness, right? Who wants to expect that? Um, and again, I'm very sorry for whomever that is. <sighs> okay, the next, <laughs> the next thing that I am, and that laugh is not about somebody losing somebody. That is just a laugh that I'm nervous like laugh. So I, I apologize for that. If please don't take that laugh the wrong way. Hey, Patrick, how are you, Heather? Um, I have so many people, Anne and um, Fawn and Maris. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on YouTube this morning in the chat. Um, the next thing that I want to say, or the next song that is coming through, is uh, uh, from um, Culture Club. Come, 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 chameleon, you come and go, you come and go. So whomever that song is for, you will know if that song's for you. You will instantly know. Um, and then um, the next song that I'm hearing is the answer to a question. Oh, and this is a country song. Yeah. Mm, yeah, mm. it's um, and um, that song um, it's by uh, thank God. It's it's the song. I think it's by Kane Brown, and it's that song that says "Thank God." That like it's unanswered prayers. Like thank God it didn't work out with anybody else because now I'm with you. So that song, and I'm so. Sorry that I can't think of all the words to that, um, but that is, I, that's the gist of the song. So that's the answer to a question for somebody. Thank goodness it didn't work out with whoever it didn't work out with because your, your prayer is about to be answered. Your prayer is about to be answered. Okay. Uh, and that is what I have for that. Now, if you are calling in or would like to call in and ask a question about life, love, career, finances, um, please, the number is 845-277-9131. And if you would like to connect with a loved one on the other side. And there are, I want to say, quite a few loved ones here today. So if you are trying to connect or somebody's telling you just call in, today is the day to do that because I am just going to tell you there are a lot of people here. And if you're watching me, <laughs> I'm just looking all around the room behind me. Um, there are a lot of people here in the studio, which is my living room, by the way, waiting to connect with you. Uh, just a lot of people here wanting to connect. Um, so I'm going to take the first caller. Uh, and remember, if you call in you and you want to ask a question or connect with a loved one or just say hey to me, you have to push one. Otherwise, the little hand on the switchboard doesn't go up. And I don't know that you want to um ask a question or connect with me so the first uh, part we're going to go to the very first caller and the very first caller is 917 917 what's your name and where are you calling from oh my name is uh, tim and i'm calling from new york hey tim it's been a minute how are you i am well i am well Thanks for taking my call. It has been a minute. Um, I guess I'm just calling to ask if I'm hoping one of those prayers that you mentioned of things, uh, messages is for me. Uh, you know, I'm just putting out 
the field for uh, trying to bring in some new abundance in uh, okay. job situation. I was just curious. Uh, I feel like the spirits are hearing me. Uh, if you have any messages for me, greatly appreciate it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, Tim, for you, everybody listening, re-listening, it is the 10-ish minute mark of the show. We're going to kick this show off with some mighty, mighty, mighty good clearings. Um, we're going to do anything stopping, anything blocking, anything in the way of money, literal money coming to us has been cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that. Anything, um, any, oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. I love this. Any beliefs or programs, any old beliefs, programs that are in the way of us accepting money have been cleared, healed, released. I get a no. All that caused, kept, started. Any and all of this has been cleared, healed, and released. I get a no. <laughs> oh, let's clear that. Now, Tim, the second part of this, um, I think, I don't know for sure, but I see a woman here. Well, I see a lot of women here. The women have shown up in numbers today for their loved ones. So is there a specific person you would like to connect with, Tim? Yeah, sure. My uh, great-grandmother, Margaret. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to say something I didn't think I would end up saying was your great grandmother, Margaret, a little bit thin. And did she have a little bit of Indian or chair and more specifically Cherokee in her that you know of? Oh, uh, not that I know of. Okay. Well, I'm going to say this. Um, was your great grand mother a little bit thin toward the end. I'm not saying sickly thin. I'm saying maybe she lost a little bit of weight as she aged, as she got closer to that, you know, that departing time, that going back home that time. Is okay. Yep. This is her. And yeah, that's correct. Okay. So if she wasn't Cherokee or didn't have a little bit of Indian in her, somebody else who had a grandmother that was Cherokee and had and or had Cherokee in them or Indian in them is here. But right now we're going to focus on her face showed up right away. And next to her is a woman that is a little bit fuller. Like, you know what I mean, Tim, healthy, fuller, um, not yeah. bad. It's never a bad thing. I feel like she is an auntie. Um, what I'm going to say is that the message for you is um, I don't like how blunt they're being, but you know, they're your relatives. So who am I to tell them how to be, uh, get out of your own way. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tim. And sometimes we do that, right? So on that note, we're going to heal, clear, release any and all self-sabotage. Let's get that out of the way now. All self-sabotage, all that caused it, all that's kept it has been healed, cleared and released. Holy, here we go. We're going to get rid of all of that. Um, and that is good stuff. That is really good stuff. Now I'm going to tell you, um, when they say get out of your own way, it means what they mean by this for you, Tim, is very good. What they mean is you come up with these great ideas and or plans, and then you kind of either talk yourself out of them or get so busy you don't implement them. Is that is that okay. is that true, okay. Tim? Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. I'd say that's accurate, yes. Okay, let's clear, heal, and release anything stopping or blocking us from following through. And this is all in the stomach between the third and fourth, what, what we would call our third and fourth chakra. So I don't, it's just a nervous near nervousness and fear. So I'm right away like asking that they pull that out. And I really hope people come back and listen to this because of all the clearings and healings that I do, these are probably some of the most important ones that I do for everybody to help them to be 
um, you know, on track, moving forward and making money. Tim, one of the things I'm getting for you also is that there's the up if if you are in business for yourself, there's the opportunity to take that to the next level and or start another venture. If you are not in business for yourself, you don't have what they call a side hustle or a startup venture going on right now. The opportunity for that is there ready, willing, and waiting for you. Now, that doesn't mean necessarily going and getting a storefront and re renting an area and doing it. I feel I hear the word consulting for you. And you could mm -hmm. even start a online, some sort of online thing that advises people how to do something. I don't know what it is, Tim. You would know what that is. And I'm going to tell you, we are all experts in something, okay? And even if we don't think, and typically whatever we're in an expert in, we don't think we're an expert in it because it's so easy and natural and we've had it since we were childhood. Um, but I feel like there's there's something there for you. So start it now and let it grow. Um now, if it's not that, again, there are going to be plenty of other opportunities coming to you, and it might be out of your, there's one opportunity coming to you that's a little bit out of your normal wheelhouse, what you would normally look at as a potential like a, a, a career opportunity that's going to be coming your way. And you're supposed to really investigate that and consider if that would be something that you want to do. Um, sometimes what we want to do is a thing we think that sometimes a thing where that will bring us like whatever is a thing we think we wouldn't do. So I want to say again, um, moving into the future, some of the more uh, prevalent or bigger businesses are going to be businesses that are um, Catering to people doing things in their home or at specific areas. So, for exa example, a portable bar that you can take to uh, graduations, weddings, ceremonies, um, or and or a like any anything like that anything like that i don't want to go too far in down this road with you but there are going to be some opportunities coming in for you to really uh look at new ventures and they really want you to look at them okay tim who okay there okay. it is <laughs> there's all of that folks i hope that's helpful love thank you very much appreciate it um Absolutely. And they say they love you. They want me to tell them we love him, tell them we love him, tell them we love him. So that's 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 coming through for you also. OK. OK, appreciate it. Thank you very much. You are so, so welcome. Um, I do want to say to everybody uh, listening, watching, I am starting my programs. I have one on my website already, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Um, and there are going to be more that I'm going to be listing as soon as I figure out the scheduling for them. Each program will be done via Zoom. Um, and the first one that is on there is for the ideal body and for weight reduction and the ideal body. Um, so that's already listed if you want the details, but the, 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 the price and the dates are not on there yet. It'll be on there hopefully by the end of the week, along with the second program, which is the love program or the self love program or the self program about um, working with um, self respect, self worth, self, you know, all the selves. And each program is a six session program. You can do them right from the comfort of your own home, making them more like a private session than a big group thing. Okay, going, uh, I, um, hi, Amy, how are you? Um, Amy Bay, oh my goodness, how are you? So happy to see that you can be on here today. Usually you're working right now. I miss you, girl. We need to 
We need to get some tacos. <laughs> okay, so um, the first, Amy, Amy Meza, um, how is my friend Kevin Glenn Stewart? The first thing I hear is good. I don't know if you want me to elaborate on that, but I hear good for whatever that means. If you want, if you if you want more, uh, please let me know. Hey, Kathy, uh, let me know. Okay, and then Amy May wants to know: Does my mom or brother have any messages for me? Um, Okay, so Amy May, uh, your mom and your brother are both saying the same thing, and that message is um, uh, moving on up. Do 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 do, meaning uh, you, there's no place to go. Um, what's that song? Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> if you guys were in my head for like five seconds hearing these messages, you would be like, holy. What in the crack balls is that? Yeah, yeah. Um, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. I can't even. And to be perfectly honest, those are the only lyrics they're giving me, which is even crazier. Okay, um, that means, Amy, if, Amy May, if I'm guessing, what that means to me is that from this point forward, everything is going to like just keep going up and up and up. And they say, and you deserve that. And don't let anybody get in the way of that. And don't go, um, what's that song? Round the outside, round the outside. I said, trailer park girls come round the outside. Uh, don't go back. Don't, don't go don't go around in a circle in the same situation or don't go back in a situation. Just keep pushing it forward. Keep moving forward. Keep going up. Um, you've already climbed that, that mountain and reached the summit. I think that means the top or some point on the mountain. Don't slide. Don't be sliding. Slip sliding away. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't believe I just snort laughed on my show. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. And for those of you that can see me, the redness is real through my whole being. <laughs> Okay, that is that for you, Amy. Amy May, you always take me to places that are just crazy. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Katie, hey, K not Katie, Kate, uh, moving on up to the east side. Yeah. Hey, Kate, how are you? Thank you for that. Okay, so Kevin was, uh, I'm so sorry that Kevin was murdered. Um, Amy Metza, what I'm hearing is I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, and then what I'm hearing, and if this makes sense to you, please let me know. They got him. Now, now whether the they have apprehended the person or not, or they may just know who it is, or they may um, be watching. And even if it isn't somebody in the whole, oh, did you ever, but y'all see that flashing? <laughs> even, it, 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 they got him. They got him. And it's the right one, baby. Okay. Okay. The music is so on today. <laughs> Thank you for confirming. She says yes and yes. They, they got him, right? Yes. Boom, boom. Um, and then I hear that song, bang, bang, uh, that's uh, lock them up, something. Um, I don't want to sing the beginning of the song because it seems inappropriate for the situation. But I know the beginning of the song and I think it goes um, into they they got him. They, the bottom line is they got him. OK, I'm going to go to the next caller here who is 312. But if you do, if you are joining us in the chat and you do have a question or you would like a clearing, please post it in the chat. I'm going to 312. Oh, 
I'm trying to go to 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling me from? Hello, good afternoon. My name is Brian. I'm calling out of Chicago. Hey, Brian. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, a uh, couple of things. Uh, one, uh, me and my wife, uh, it's been living in Chicago, and things have not gone somewhere for my career here, and we're trying to find a way out, but we want to stay in that region because she's going to school here. And I just want to know, do you see any job, new, new job opportunities coming? Because I want to leave the job that I'm at right now because it is a bit of a hostile working environment. I even filed complaints. And uh, and in the complaint, the company said some pretty false and nasty things about my work ethic, which I've really broke my heart. And so do you know, see any new opportunities coming so yes. I can, we can stay here and my wife can team and go to school and fulfill her dream? Okay, I'm hearing a couple of different things, and I'm going to elaborate on them. So if it doesn't work one way, it might be the they might mean it the other way. So the first word that I hear is remote, remote, remote. Um, this might mean you find a position outside of the Chicago area that is a completely remote type of position, or she is able to do her schooling via remote um remotely now whatever that means for the two of you i'm i'm not sure if it's one and or the other um and i'm hearing that whatever position you're going to get next and there is a new position for you and it is coming in hot or coming in soon um and i hear that song i don't even know this song and i hear that song like coming in hot shoot your shot. I don't even know if those are the words for it, but I just hear those le lyrics, which means there's something that's coming in. And even if you think, oh, this is, you know, this is outside of my, what I know, or it's a little bit, but whatever, shoot your shot, take it anyway, go for it. I'm also hearing that um, you it's it's a little bit outside of the it's outside it's definitely outside of the chicago area which could mean a suburb of Il, of chicago or illinois or it could be even like into the um bordering area um of like let's just say Racine Kenosha whatever I don't know but what I'm going to tell you is it's outside of Chicago and you may be able to do most of it remotely so please look into that and please be aware of that the other thing they're saying is um focus in again they're going to say this to everybody even if you are doing a company or corporate position focus in on something that you have for yourself that can build. I don't care what it is, but they're saying focus in on something like that, like your own independent type, either independent contractor, independent type of business. Brian, I do feel like something's coming in within this month. You will find a new work opportunity within this month. And I feel like even if it seems like things smooth out at your company, you still need to look because I feel like this is the beginning of a lot of um, corruption or chaos at your current position. And the sooner you can find something better, it's better for you. Now, sometimes in life, things happen at a place that we work because it's just time for us to move on and there's something better for us. So don't look at it as why is this happening to me? Instead, look at it as this is totally happening for me because I have totally outgrown this position and it's time for me to get into something better and something new. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. In the words of the great Austin. That's pretty good. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's great. This, this that's, that was great stuff. The second part of my question is related to the first question. Is how do you see the uh, the outcome of my complaint? Not good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so not good. They're not. Um, 
for whatever reason, and I'm I'm going to kind of go back to what I had originally or what spirit had originally stated. Um, they're not going to take any consideration for what you have said. They're just going to be more like in defense mode. Like it can't be us. It must be you um, sort of thing because whomever they talk to regarding this, this is that person's rebuttal. And so they're putting it in paper. Plus now, if anything happens, like, let's just say, for example, you end up not at the company, they can say, well, this is what happened. And they have their defense. They're trying to protect themselves is what I'm hearing. Now, what I am going to tell you, again, this is happening to you, not so that you can get stick it out to the bitter end and get fired, but so that you can grab the bull by the horns and literally ride it into a much better, more favorable position for yourself. Now, I'm going to say if you look and you find something new, you'll probably end up starting the new place with more pay and or better benefits. And I feel like the reason that all of this is happening and that the complaint won't be rectified in your favor is because the company isn't trying to push you out of there, but angels are trying to push your booty out of there. And you've had plenty of signs and things happen at this company to say, I should not be here anymore. They're not being respectful. They're not whatever. And you've just kind of, ignored or let it go and now it's like at a point where you can't anymore and you just need to move your booty on does that make sense to you it makes sense uh and then everything you say makes sense and it's what i've been getting in my spirit the thing that hurts the most is that it feels like i would never get justice and that's what i am struggling with you know what the I'm things gonna... i went through is not going to get i get that we want justice, but in all honesty, the ego wants justice, not the spirit. The spirit wants peace. The spirit wants to move on. The ego believes something is owed to us. Um, and I know sometimes when we're, believe me, when we're going through things and they're not right, um, we want to see the outcome be fair and just. And sometimes we never get to see that. But we move on to a new place and that's the justice is that you're in a better place with better people. And I'm going to go one step for one step further. And I'm going to say sometimes justice comes when you're no longer there. And I'm going to tell this story just so everybody gets the totality of justice. And I never call on karma or justice for anyone because I've seen it so many times. So I was working at this company and um, the boss said, if you do A, B, and C, I'll give you this specific promotion. So I went way above A, B, and C. And I went in and I said, okay, not only did I do this, but I outdid all three of your other people. Here are my numbers. Let's go. And he literally got so upset. He picked up his desk phone and threw it at me. <laughs> Thank goodness he missed. I mean, seriously, who does that? Who picks up a phone, a desk phone and throws it at somebody who is their employee asking for the promotion you promised them? So I just walked back to my office, packed up my desk and left. Now, the next day or within that week, I know it was within that week. I don't know if it was the next day, but I'm going to just pay attention to this story because it's so important. I packed up my desk. I walked right out the front door and said, Bulia, deuces, bye, whatever it was. And I moved on to my next thing. And then on the news, yep, on the news, the only good news I've ever seen on the news is that particular place, which was a school. I was a recruiter, a secondary education recruiter. Um, 
what the FBI had gone in and raided it for inappropriate use of, um, yeah, right? Yeah, baby, boom, there it is, whoop, there it is. Uh, the FBI had gone in and raided that place because of inappropriate use of um, federal funds. Now, that, you would say, has nothing to do with me personally, but the president of the school who threw the phone at me, his happy little fanny ended up in federal pen. Whatever happened to him there, I'm not saying it was just of anything he did to me. I'm just saying whatever happens in federal pen is be good to people. Just be good to people. So, no, I personally did not. Thank God I wasn't there when the feds went in and raided and questioned everybody. So it was a blessing on me that I was already out of there. Total blessing on blessing on blessing. I did not have to get questioned by the Fed because at that point I might've just made something up about the president of the school. <laughs> I might've told them he threw a phone at me and then more charges would have been added, which I don't want. <laughs> he was already in a hell of a hell of a place for himself. <laughs> But the bottom line is, we don't always get to see the justice that happens. And a similar story happened with a um, alderman in my area who did something really inappropriate to me. And um, at the time, nothing happened to him. But a couple of years down the road, road, he was put in a federal pen, too. I think the moral of the story is don't do anything bad to me because you might end up in the federal penitentiary. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not like my situation right now. Now, what I'm saying for your situation, what I'm saying for yeah, your situation, like awesome. the justice that comes through for the person or people that are doing this, you may never see it. It might be a justice that happens at home, within the workplace, or something else. You may never see that justice. Just know justice always comes for people. But don't wish it on them. Because whatever you wish for other people comes back to you also. Because you're putting that energy out there, which means you're in that energy. Wish everybody the best and just move on and live your personal best life. The best revenge, even though it's not revenge, the best revenge is to be successful someplace else, to be happy someplace else. Because when they see you succeeding and being happy someplace else, then they know it was them. And you know it was them, and then you get a better life, okay? Okay, sounds good. That was great. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You have an absolutely amazing rest of the day, okay? And Brian, there is a new position coming in for you, and it should be here within this month. So please look, and look at it this way. Their justice is losing you, and you're a good person. Okay. Okay, dear. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. 216, you're next, so please don't go anyplace. Uh, hey, Jay Francis, what's a good strategy to get rid of anger? Oh, let's do that now. Let's do a clearing. All anger, all that caused it, all that's kept it has been healed. Let's heal it, cleared. And released. And the reason I heal, especially with anger, is if we don't heal what caused it, it just might come back. So we're going to heal, clear, release all anger and all that caused it from the very first time to the last time. This might take a minute. This is at about the 39 minute mark of the show. So please do come back and listen to this again if you need to. Remember, this clears everything up until now. And it might take more than one session to more than one time listening to this to clear it. But if something happens tomorrow, you have to come back and listen to it again, Jay Francis. So I, uh, it, so I, I hope that is helpful for you. Hey, Aaron, I'll answer your question in a second. I'm going to go to 216. 216, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, hi, Tony. 
My name is Patricia. I'm calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Hi, Patricia. How can I help you today? Yes, good. How are you? Good. I, I would, I guess I'll go with and ask if uh, an ancestral message, if any of my ancestors want to know talk what? to me. It's so funny um, that you're saying that. I'm going to tell you as soon as you said, my name is Patricia. I heard grandma, grandma, nana, grandma, nana. Nana, grandma, which both of them mean grandma. So I don't know if this, what side of the family this is from. I hear both, but there is definitely at least one Nona, Nana, grandma. They are giving me every name for grandma they possibly can for you. So your grandma's here, sweetie. Um, is, okay. that, is that somebody you're... Uh, I, the message, okay, so the message that I'm getting from her, and it's, to, I don't know why it's taking a moment, but it's taking a moment, so just give me a second, because I keep hearing grandma. So I'm going to ask a question. Is your grandma on the other side? Uh, well, the one, yes, and I didn't know her because she died when I was very young probably maybe three or four. So okay. she died. Uh, but your you know, other grandma and is... Then, yeah, go um, ahead. I'm sorry. Other, on the, my father's side of the family, I did not know any of them, nor him, him. Well, he made a choice. He refused to uh, pay child support to my mother and, you know, uh, hurt her and abandoned both. And when I talked to him, probably in my 20s, by phone. Uh, and he just said, you know, just very nonchalant, oh, I forgot I had a daughter. Of course, it crushed me then. Uh, but it doesn't, you know, hurt now. And I'm thankful that he wasn't in my life, but I don't know any of the family members. And I don't and I don't know who, how much of them and he were not wanting to be, you know, supportive and loving to my mother or me so okay. anyway <laughs> so there is a grandma that definitely has a message for you from the other side now what what i'm what i'm going to say i'm so sorry for your upbringing and that side of the family that was not there but the message that i hear not that this is what you're asking for um, but the message I hear about them not being there is the same message I pretty much got about my father when I was growing up. And it's, it is that um, I am a better person. I know this is going to sound harsh. I'm sometimes certain people not being in your life is because you're supposed to be a certain person. And if they're in your life, they're, way of being will affect you and you'll take on those traits and that energy. So you're a better person for them not being in your life. Um, you would have picked up some of that oh, callousness, I, I, some of that coldness, I, some of that ickiness and, and that rejection throughout that blatant in your face rejection throughout your life. Now the, 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 the real message that your grandma wants to give you is, um, Oh God, I don't even know if I can. I I hope you know this song. A superstar, that's what you are. <laughs> I clearly cannot sing, but I definitely cannot sing high tones or pitches or whatever they're called. You're a superstar, that's what you are, and they just keep repeating that verse. And I don't. I think I've heard that song like maybe once or twice. It's it's from the way back, way back. And what they want you to know is who you are and how you are is very amazing. Do not play it down. Lift yourself up. Lift it up. Lift lift up from where from like where you are and keep growing on it. There's something that's coming in that's going to offer you expansion. You're going to be able to um, expand. You're going to be able to have a lot of expansion coming in over the next six weeks, 
and six months. So the first six weeks, there's going to be like a tremendous amount of expansion that you're in charge of. And then over the next six months, it's just going to keep going. Whatever that means for you, sweetie. Um, and they want you to grab onto it and to not be afraid to allow yourself to, to expand. And then I hear the song, shine bright like a diamond. And they're saying, whether this is in a family, friend, work, or a community vision, view, uh, environment, just let it grow. Okay, sweetie? And that's what they want to tell you. And your health is going to increase. Um, so if there is something going on with you health-wise, they're going to have the answer. Um for you. Just keep moving forward. Okay, love? Whew. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm planning to relocate to Las Cruces, New Mexico in, in July and finishing up the dental work in June. Okay. And of course, you know, I'm working on you know, getting these remote jobs, uh, but plus developing because I want to start a side gig um well several of them but the coaching consulting because okay. i can do that by with the phone and the computer so anyway i um, think the coaching yeah so i'll the, that message the coaching you should start putting those i'm gonna i do everything on paper and that's just my thing um so when I say put it on paper, whatever that means for you is fine. I think you should be putting the coaching on pro on paper and formatting those programs now and then get them out. Do that sooner rather than later. Otherwise, when you relocate, it's going to push it back further. So if you can get all that on paper before you even have to pack up and relocate, it's going to be so much um, better for you. And you're going to be able to just implement it at basically the touch of a button or two. So get that going and get that down. Everything you want to do for the coaching program, get it down on paper, get it on the, a website or however you're going to promote it, and then get it going. Um, I do, the one thing I do know is that the one thing I heard for whatever this is worth, is that you need to pro promote a program for approximately six weeks to your core group, whether that be social media, email group, um, whomever it is, for six weeks because people need to see something or hear something a certain number of times before they will whatever. So make sure that whatever you're doing, like if you're planning on starting the program let's say end of July, get it all together and start promoting it now. I hope that makes sense and that's helpful for you. All right. Yes, I received that. That's okay. It. Thank you very much. You are so very welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I look forward to the next time you call in. If you'd like to call in, the number is 845 277 Three one. I'm going to go to Aaron. Hi, Tony. Is my what is my life path? Is it a travel blog vlog? Yes. Everybody says, take me with you, Aaron. If you are still on the chat, take me with you. Um, serious, but on a serious note, that was serious, super serious. <laughs> As I laugh, um, Aaron. Um, there is a, I wish I could remember who this was, but there's a show that is casting right now for a group of two, a couple, whether it be friend, two friends, mom and daughter, sisters, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, they're going to pick two people to travel and vlog it or yeah, vlog video, log it. Um, I wish I could remember what that was or who was doing that, but there are so many companies that will pay you to travel and be a person who travels from hotel to hotel to hotel, 
to um, different areas and write reviews and see the sites. Um, go online, tippy tap that into your little computery thing. And uh, you will come up with a list of companies that pay you to travel and write reviews, take pictures, take videos, and do that. And you can also, while doing that, have another thing you do as long as it's remote. Um, so you'll be able to travel and do your other thing at the same time time. So let's just say you do healing work or you do some kind of like, uh, Pat I think it was Patricia, the last caller, uh, some type of um, coaching business or whatever it is. You can like work it all in together. You can just work it all in together. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, I get so much joy out of it. I know, right? Traveling is the best. It is the best. Um, it is traveling is amazing. We live in this big world and it is almost a shame if you don't get to see all the different parts of it. It really is. I I just I have to say that should be something that is a priority for everyone and their children. If you have children, take them to different places. You don't have to do it like five star, whatever. Um, I'll travel with you too, Patrick. I definitely will. Um, I want to do some retreats, some distant retreats, and um, like just have a blast doing them. So, Patrick, let's do that. Um, so, so yes, back to you, Kate, um, back to you, Erin, sorry. Um, there are so many companies that will pay you to travel um, and you can piggyback these companies. Like you can piggyback one of the companies of a hotel that will pay you to review their hotels and then also a company that will pay you to do um, like the, the, the touristy part of it, okay? So definitely get... Um, and look at that. I think I saw the video for the two people traveling thing on TikTok. By the way, you guys, my TikTok healing of the day was the original sin and every sin that came after that. It was intense. Wow. Um, so put go to that, go to TikTok and search that, like travel with travel I don't even know audition travel travel audition I don't know what it would be called sweetie I don't I'm sorry I thought it was awesome maybe I sent it to myself but I highly doubt it I don't know anyway Erin I hope that helps you and I, I I hope that you do that okay okay um you guys I have time for this right here 860 860 what's your name where are you calling from Hi, Lisa Marie. I'm calling from Connecticut. Thank you so much. I would love to hear from anybody. Give me a speci um, specific. Uh, can you please give me a specific name? My Grammy or my father. And the first name? Gra um, Grammy. Grammy Florence or okay. my father Bob. Grammy Florence. We're going to start there. And was it Father Bob or Grandfather Bob? No, Father Bob. Okay, Father Bob, Grammy Florence. Okay. The first song I hear is Here I Am Once Again. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, clearly, they're not giving me the words, but they're saying, Here we are once again. They're here for you again. Um, they're always with you, is the message I get from that. And I'm sorry about my, you guys, you can tell I really tried <laughs> when I sang those first lines. I was really trying and epic fail again. Um, they're always with you. They want you to know that. Um, when you're driving Grammy and they sit, you might feel crowded in your vehicle because everybody sits right up front with you. <laughs> and that song like Jesus Take the Wheel, somebody sometimes takes the wheel <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, take the wheel. <laughs> and they're driving, literally, they're taking the wheel and driving for you in your literal 
vehicle. The other thing that I'm getting, so they're always in the vehicle with you, forever in the vehicle with you. I'm also getting that they are going to be, um, uh, there's this song stuck it's, I think it's a country song. My niece loved, one of my nieces just loved this song. Um, it's a female singer, maybe Gab, I don't know. Um, stuck on you, stuck like glue. I, ca I can't even try to sing it. I'm just hearing that, that line to it. But they're, they, for the next year, are going to be cocooning you. Literally like stuck on you, stuck like glue cocooning you like I see like a excuse me like a beehive and you're in the beehive like they're the beehive and you're the honey or the nectar inside of it these are the words I'm getting folks folks she's the honey <laughs> she is the nectar um they want you to know that over the next year, you are going to have the opportunity to progress, grow, heal. And with that, you will be, it's it's like the chrysalis and a, uh, like a, a caterpillar to the butterfly, like the chrysalis. That's what I can say about it. That's what they're letting you know. <laughs> That's what they want to tell you. The next year is a year of growth and transformation. That is so much easier. Why didn't we just start with that? <laughs> Boy, <laughs> like that was like, like so good. I but like these. They want you to know that no matter. I like these a lot. <laughs> yes. They're letting you know that over the next year, whatever happens, whatever goes on, they're stuck to you, stuck like glue, and they're going to be there. And everything that's happening is happening for the sake of your transformation to come out the other side, this big, beautiful blue butterfly. <sighs> Lord have it all. Wow. Yes. So there you go, gorgeous girl. Blessing. Thank you. Okay. Now that you know that, you now here's, that was the good part. Here's the other part. Now you have a responsibility to do your part and dig in deep and find those things that will heal anything from the past, will push you forward, and will help you to make yourself push out of the chrysalis into the butterfly and fly, Robbie, fly. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> I, Thank you. You are so... Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tony. Thank you. God bless you. Mwah. I love you, sweet girl. Absolutely my pleasure. You have an amazing rest of the day, and I look forward to talking with you again soon. Um, I'm going to um, go here. Hey, Gerda. 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 I'm just going to... Will my granddaughter, Desiree, go to rehab? By force. Not by choice. Um... I'm sorry, uh, Gerda, Gerda, I feel like that should be a in your R and I can't in an R. So I'm just going to say, um, if your granddaughter goes, I hear she is going to go, but it will not be of her free will. It's going to either be a thing where it's like go to rehab or we're cutting off everything or she gets forced in through like maybe a court through some other way. 60 okay. seconds. I love each and every one of you. I love you. Jira. It's Jira. Like Vera with a G. Sorry, I mask. I'm sorry. I didn't say your name very correctly. Thank you. Um, I love each and every one of you. So stinking much. So very, very much. Uh, please know that. Um, please go out and make miracles in your life. Um, and I look forward to the next show with you. Until then, have an absolutely amazing day.